Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George here. This is our first 2022 Subaru WRX Sport Tech with the EyeSight. The first WRX we've received with the Subaru Performance Transmission. This is the full load. In the States, I believe they call this the GT. Uh, World Rally Blue with the black cladding really stands out. So first year of new body style, first year of new engine, now powered by a 2.4 liter turbo producing 271 horsepower. I really like the front end on this. A little bit more power than last year's. The, the previous generation, I, I like the hood. I like this more. It seems a lot more aggressive to me. I really like that hood scoop. They've changed the headlights, that kind of claw design, a little bit smaller. They are steering responsive. That front end, they've changed the cladding again. They've kind of squashed the fog light area down a little bit. As we come around, you got the fender flares, got those 18 inch wheels. Now this one just came through, hasn't been through detail yet, so it's still dusty, still has some plastic somewhere. Functional vents, aerodynamics and brake cooling. I really like the World Rally. I think it looks super sharp, as it always has on these cars. At the back, all of the sports and sport techs get the little lip spoiler. Down below, look at that new rear bumper. So I know lots of people aren't a huge fan of it. I don't mind it. These are actually functional vents. Don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there is actually some World Rally Blue paint back there showing that it does go all the way through. Again, airflow aerodynamics. Got that black bar across between the taillights. I would personally like to see the bar between the taillights body colored, and I would like to see the spoiler in the black myself, regardless of the exterior color of the car. In the back, absolutely massive storage area. 0.5 of a liter more storage than the previous gen, a little deeper underneath here. Spare tire stuff, spare tires down below here, still in the vehicle protected from the elements. No worries about that actually it's rusting to the bottom of your vehicle. If you ever have to change a tire in the middle of winter or freezing, it, you'll know it's a giant pain. As we move to the second row, good room, even taller people will fit. There's good headroom, decent leg room for a sport sedan. The outer two seats, are heated high and low for the outer two seats. The person in the middle, in addition to having to sit in the middle, doesn't get a warm butt. You've got two USB ports for all your charging needs, device holder, mat back pockets on both seats. And it's the ultra suede, the gray and black ultra suede with the black le leather with the red contrast stitching. If you're ever gonna put crossbars, carry something on the roof. These little doors flip up. It's a lot easier with something like a flathead screwdriver, slot screwdriver, and the crossbars actually bolt in. So they're very, very well secured. Shark fin antenna, tilt and slide sunroof. Now with it being a proximity key, we have these lines on the door. And that's so long as the key's within about three, three and a half feet. I forgot something, I walk up, put my hand in and it unlocks. Up front, we have power windows, locks, mirrors, as you would expect, carbon fiber accenting. Down here, a Harman Kardon audio system, so really good audio system. On the inside driver's seat, you've got power driver's seat, including lumbar. Now the bolstering on the front seat is definitely a little bit more aggressive than in the back. These will hold you really, really well in tight corners, but they're not so firm that they're gonna hurt you getting in and out. You've got red, WRX embroidered on both the front driver and passenger headrests. Let's hop on in. On the inside, we have our D-shaped steering wheel, the flat bottom, more carbon fiber. To start it, foot's on the brake, keys in my pocket. You've got your blind spot detection. That's what that orange light in that side mirror was. If this side is orange, there's someone in your blind spot on the driver's side. If it's orange on the passenger mirror, there's someone in your blind spot on the passenger mirror, or they're going to be there momentarily. On the steering wheel, left-hand side, we've got our Bluetooth and audio controls. You can make and take calls, control the volume of the calls and the music. These little arrows right here will change the center display. Right now, it displays the boost gauge, fuel economy, time running versus distance traveled, navigation, what you're listening to. I personally like the boost gauge. I think most people who drive a WRX do want it. 
Now, being that this is the full load with the automatic, you get the eyesight. So you get these two black boxes. Those are the forward facing color stereo eyesight cameras. So they've changed the housing. It's got a wider field of view. It'll pick up more vehicles, more pedestrians. The previous gen, while they didn't state statistics for it, I know that a couple people had have mentioned that they have not hit animals because of that. So they've improved this eyesight system. So cruise control comes into play when you turn on cruise, gives you an image of the WRX there. There's four bars ahead of it, all the way down to one. That's the follow distance behind the vehicle ahead of you that you'll follow at if you catch up while using cruise. So four bars at 100 kilometers an hour is approximately 150 to 180 feet. So plenty of distance up here in the north. I've just turned on lane centering. And what that will do is if these two color stereo eyesight cameras can see the road lines, it will actually illuminate the white line or the grayed out lines that are on either side. And it'll actually give you gentle steering input either way to try to keep you in the middle of your lane. Great for long distance trips. I find I'm far less fatigued at the end of a day of driving while using that. Turn that off. Right here, we've got our sport and intelligent drive modes and sport sharp. So you can see down bottom left, it, beside the P for park, it says I for intelligent. Press it again, goes S, and you'll notice that yellow line there gets a little steeper, a little bit more aggressive. And then I press sport sharp. That's your torque curve. It's essentially how fast you get going and how quickly. So full race car mode, spirited driving, everyday driving. I for intelligent, right? Over here, we have the giant 11.6 inch touchscreen. I actually quite like it. Easy to use, they've broken it into three portions. This top portion, you've got your widgets. You can change these around. Weather, that's part of the satellite radio trial. Navigation destination, and then what you're listening to. The center portion here, you've got all your tiles, your navigation, your apps, your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all of that easy to use there's no subscription fee for the navigation it just comes with the vehicle you've got it for life you get one free update within the first three years there is a website where you can actually download it and upload it yourself fairly easy to do straightforward put it in reverse backup camera comes up reverse automatic braking and parking sensors because it's got the eyesight you get the backup sensors rab will actually apply the brakes if it thinks you're going to hit something in reverse between speeds of one and 15 kilometers an hour it is a great feature for parking lots it is unreal it's terrifying when it works but it's worth it and then the third portion your climate control so it is dual zone so if i press on the passenger side brings up the passenger side i can have 25 and a half and we'll say 14 and a half on that side can turn on the heater for just the passenger side so three stages of heated seats for both the driver and the passenger now if the passenger gets out driver doesn't want to fiddle with two sides they just hit sync and then it's just controlled by the driver's side really really easy to use below that we have two usb ports for charging music music listening hooking up for apple carplay android auto an aux port for music listening and then you have a 12 volt outlet for any other charging needs you may have this is rubberized for phone storage so your device doesn't slide around the Subaru Performance Transmission, you've got drive, and then you have manual mode, and you do have the paddles, upshift, downshift. They have, they are a little bit different. They don't have quite as much travel as the paddle shifters you'd find in other Subarus, and it the, the response it feels nice and crisp. I'm I'd be very excited to get this out and try it. Uh, when we have one that isn't already sold, I'll happily do that for you guys, and I'll give you my feedback on that. Parking brake is electronic and this center console this stack is different than the manual transmission wrx is obviously but foot's on the brake to turn it on or uh doesn't have to be on the brake to turn it on you just have to be in park but you pull up to turn it on to turn it off if my foot's not on the brake and i push it it says to press the brake pedal foot's on the brake i push down there you go up top here my favorite feature ever in any vehicle auto dimming rear view mirror there's no switch to flick if someone has their high beams on behind you it just dims it does come with the home link system so you can hook up to three separate garage doors to your mirror don't have to carry around a bulky opener a little bit up here we have our sos and our concierge service so that's part of the three-year trial of the connected services that you get with most new subarus in the lineup and then we have our tilt and slide sunroof so those controls just right here really really easy to use so that's a brief overview of the 2022 subaru wrx sport tech with eyesight 
and the Subaru Performance Transmission. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George. If you guys liked the video, if you got any value out of it, please consider liking and subscribing. I really do appreciate it. It helps me bring you more content more often. And if there's any questions about this car in particular or any other Subaru that we currently have in the lineup, please put it in the comments below. I am more than happy to answer questions for any of you to the best of my ability. And if there's anything that you want to see how to do, a how-to video, please let me know. I will make it. And I look forward to talking to you guys soon.